le bungiti mina ngcholo munto tengi sa iskoti sa ma qualification jongo ba mina song funi degree medicine ganja ba five point eight. Have you guys ever heard of Dr. Matthew Lani? Apparently, he's a TikTok doctor who fraudulently claimed to be a real doctor and well now he's getting called out and sued and all this stuff now i just want to discuss everything and explain the timeline to you so that you understand what happened now dr matthew lani goes as well dr matthew lani online and he started his tiktok career in 2022 where he started posting videos uh responding to people's questions you know some of the asked questions based on health and he did well for himself and made a couple of videos like this but it didn't really start to blow up until he made a video on hiv where he himself admitted to being positive Halala to us who are hiv positive but we test HIV negative. If you know, you know. Now, a couple of months through the, the year, he started making more HIV positive um, videos talking about a lot of misconceptions people have. You know, like he actually researched a lot of this and he, he was on point with a lot of things he was saying. And he was, he seemed legit, nothing out of the ordinary. Now, skip forward and it's December 2022 and he's talking about how, he's talking about how someone reported him claiming that he was not a real doctor. Now, this person who is a woman reported him to the H, HPCSA claiming that they did not find any Dr. Matthew Lani on the, the registrar. Now, he made a video in response of this talking about how that was not his real name and that Matthew Lani is a stage name. Not me being reported to the HPCSA. So on Monday, I get an email from the HPCSA um, and it basically states that, so a concerned member of the public has launched a complaint against you. Can you please call the um, Health Profession Council of South Africa? So I do that. And then the lady that I speak to is like, no. Um, so somebody from TikTok, um, they were concerned because they said that they've never seen you posting videos of you in a hospital or a doctor's office. And when they tried um, switching your name on the registrar, you did not appear. So they think that you're a fake doctor. So I had to now give the HPCSA my full name, my PACEL number, my HPCSA number for them to confirm that I'm registered with them. And yeah, a few, like an hour or two later, they call back. They're like, okay, no, everything is fine, whatever. To clarify to you guys, Lani is not my legal surname. That is my social media handles. It's not my legal surname. I don't use the, my, the Lani surname in my IDs. Zingelwa is my legal surname. So, don't go to the HPCSA database and put in Lani's surname, which I've also said it before, it's not my surname. And when you don't find results, you get excited. Everyone, you know, were like, okay, good, okay, fine. And they found his name. That was, it was on the HPCSA. So it was fine sailing, you know, he went on making more videos, you know. And then out of nowhere, just started selling products to his viewers and his biggest product was umkaba which is translation for a uh, fat stomach so it was a weight loss pill and he claimed that this could help people lose weight now around the time he was still clean so people still believe his image and he seemed like a legit guy upstanding citizen you know taxpayer and i believe him too up to that point now now that now that it's 2023 there was a bottle of the the medication the pill that he was selling if you look at the back of it on the barcode the barcode read 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 believe it or not that was the barcode on the pill so a lot of people were talking about this and i, I don't think it took off or anything like it was swept under the rug and everyone moved on with their lives but behind the scenes people were still talking about that now fast forward a bit more and it got out that Matthew Lani was not a real doctor and that Sanele Zingelwa was not his real name. Now he tried to defend this again saying no his name is Sanele L Zingelwa and that the person that they found who was a, an intern a second year intern at Tembisa hospital 
was just someone else and they're not the same person. So he tried, he tried again to deflect saying, no, that's not my real name. You guys are wrong. But then something unprecedented happened when Vitz released a statement talking about how they have never had anyone with his name. Now, if I read the letter to you, to you guys, it says, Vitz University is, ob is obliged to set the public record straight following claims made by Dr. Matthew Lani on various social media platforms. Based on the names presented to the institution and the facts on hand, the university cannot find any person who graduated by the name of Matthew Bongani Zingelwa or Sanele Zingelwa in recent years. We are requesting Dr. Matthew Lani to retract any such claim with immediate effect. He then got another letter posted by Cambridge. It has come to the attention of Cambridge International College that there were claims circulating, circulating around regarding Dr. Matthew Zingelwalani's affirm, affirm, affiliation with our institution. We wish to categorically state that Dr. That Mr. Matthew Zingelwa Lani has never been enrolled at Cambridge International College and his name does not appear in any official registers for any period. 22. So, I started grade 1 when I was 7. I skipped grade 4 and grade 8 and then I went to medical school when I was 16 years old. Emotional damage! You won't in, um, this was like in 2019. And you were how old at the time? At the time I was 20 years old. Mm. So 2019, um, early 2019, I was 22 years old. And <laughs> Don't be deceiver. I graduated when I was 21 and became a working doctor at the age of 22, where I started my internship. Now it goes on to talk, talk some more, but to explain this Cambridge thing, Matthew Lani claimed that he skipped three grades, graduated at the age of 16, went to Cambridge to get a high school diploma instead of a matric certificate, came back, studied at Vitz, claimed that he got his MBBS from Vitz, and then also claimed that he studied a bit at Stellenbosch. Now, the funny thing about this is that he also claimed that he graduated at the age of 22 or 21, which was, okay, that's fine. It, apparently, there's other people who have graduated at a young age to become doctors, which is a shock to me, but that's okay. The misstep with this was that Vitz does not offer an MBBS. They only offer MBBCH. So either he misremembered or someone's lying, and my money's on Matthew. So what followed was... All the institutions he claimed to be a part of denouncing his existence and his affiliation with their institution. I don't know who this man is. So Vitz sent a letter, the HPCSA sent a letter, the Gauteng Department of Health sent letters, and Stellenbosch sent letters. And then one step further, the people started alerting Brixton police to the situation and they have started investigating him. On top of that, Cambridge have, have decided to take legal action against him. But not only them, the real Sanele Zingelwa decided to open a case against him on identity fraud. The Gauteng Department of Health decided to open a case against him. And I'm not sure about the last one, but I think Vitz opened a case or are opening a case against him. So four legal persons are opening cases against him, all for different reasons. Now, all this resulted in his account on TikTok getting banned because at this point it was dangerous for his content to be up on the platform because basically he's masquerading as a doctor, giving people advice on medical things and health, which can have a detrimental effect on people's health long term. Like I saw a, a couple of posts recently where people were concerned whether the pill that he was selling, the Mkaba pill, was good for them. And everyone's panicking because a lot of people took this pill and they were taking it consistently for months. Now, honestly, I don't know how, how this guy ended up fooling people because if you look at everything he's done and look at the videos, there's a couple of signs that shows you that this guy was not a real doctor. For one, he never never took off the stethoscope. Like he always was wearing a stethoscope for his videos. And you can say it was his branding, but no, he was wearing it every single time. There was even a video where he had it in inserted in his ears as if he was listening to the heartbeat of his phone and he was very vocal about his drinking habits like he he loved savannah 
like i want you guys to be aware of this you know? like my heart is so broken <clears throat> like honestly speaking like my heart is so broken guys but home ne and now that his account on tiktok got banned it did not stop him from creating another account he did create another account under zendaya something something i, I don't remember the full name but it was zendaya and on the tiktok he posted where posted saying that he was gonna go live at six and he did where he was confronted by fans and they started talking to him but nobody no media outlet not even one of them have said let us reach out to matthew let us hear his side of the story these people are using not even my real names um with the with the government emblem on it and it was dr s zingelwa so from the question that kanisa is asking you so those are your real names because a hospital would not allow you to walk mm. around with a name badge that are not your true names like Matthew Lani. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that badge, it was not just as Zingelwa, it was as Al Zingelwa. So they. Oh, so, so you, you are as Zingelwa. So you are as Al Zingelwa. But there was no L on that one, it was just as Zingelwa. So you are saying your yeah. names are as. So you are saying your names are as Al Zingelwa. Yeah. And it's he ran. So who could you have come with your direct? Who could you have company? Exactly. I founded okay. the company. Oh, okay. I am the CEO of the company, but I am not the director of the company because we would not get funding to be where we are today if I was part of that company. So I want to. What was the look of me? Exactly. I am a non-executive. Non-executives do not appear on CIPC. They don't appear. Okay, Doc, on the CAPC, the four digits that I was talking about, it's a, that, that, that appear, um, it says 9610. Okay. And your birthday was yesterday and today was Yeah? But some guys, like, <laughs> what does that have to prove? Because literally, my brother, like stepbrother, so he can literally be born on the same day as i am but then the year is going to be different like why are we acting as though oh uh, is he born on the on the on the same day now no he's not born on the same day uh, uh, okay he's born on the same day but not the same month so he's on he was born on the ninth but not the same month it's it's the october is the 10th yes it's, it's 10th month. 9th, 6th, 10th, October, 10th. what are you ring and like, what I'm... no On the company, there are three directors, and yet I am not part of those directors. Oh, you understand? On the directors, it's my friend, my cousin's friend, and my brother. We understand. You're nailing me with you. I get the pet. Yeah, the pet. The people or oh, what? The person that people think I am. On that, it's not me. It's my brother. So now I get her question in terms of. There it said the 9th of October, the 9th of October, it was the birthday, right? That's when I said, but then I now noticed that I messed up the month. We share the same birthday, the date and the month. I mean, I can bring him his yeah. Just to quickly summarize what they were talking about. The lady and the, the guy on the left were, talk, were asking him about his company and he responded by saying that the company has three founders and none of them are him uh, even though one of the founders is named Matthew Bongani Lani now he's saying that's his stepbrother's name and you know they've little relations but yeah they're doing it for financial reasons now the thing that they are pressing him on is the details of that stepbrother is his details they even have a, a picture they show him later on i couldn't find that the rest of the clip but i did find the id document that they showed to him and it showed that those were his details yeah, at the end of the day, this guy seems to be a fake. Uh, I don't know what more we can say about it. He, One of his classmates even said that he, he was never a medical student. He was a psychology student who dropped out at some point. And yeah, the story of this guy is crazy and he keeps on lying and, you know, 
doubling down on his lies and fight he's fighting institutions he's fighting institutions instead of providing documentation he decides to go on lives just to address people with words instead of showing them evidence such as pictures of his graduation or uh certificates showing that he graduated at these places but no he decides not to and i think it's gonna continue like that until he confesses and um yeah i'm looking forward to that day and so if you made it this far thank you guys for watching uh don't forget to subscribe and i'll check you guys next time for another story peace